Okay, today I'm going to show you some Zimbra. Zimbra is going to be the new email client for us at school. And this is how you would log in. You're going to see your username and password boxes and you type them in like you normally would. And then you would just go log in. And what you notice about Zimbra is it pretty much looks like a lot of other emails, email services. So if you're familiar with like Gmail or Hotmail, America Online, um, you'll be able to find things fairly quickly. All right, so the gist of email, the most important things of email is sending email. Up here, top left, is your mail tab. Okay, so once this tab is clicked, you're in your mail setting. But also notice we have address book, and when I clicked that, everything kind of changed a little bit. Calendar, calendars are pretty useful. We have tasks, so if you have to make to-do lists, if you're one of those people that likes to make lists uh, digitally, you can do that. Uh, we have briefcase, and this is a really cool feature about this. I can't wait to show you about that. And then we have preferences, and you have your social part. I'm going to suggest avoid the social part for now unless you're really into your Twitter and things like that. But for now, let's start back with mail. Okay, so the basics of mail, you want to be able to make a new email, send it to people, be able to read them, forward, things like that. Okay, so I have one example email in my email box right now and I'm going to click on it and if you notice when I double click the reading pane is on the right here. Well, if you don't like your reading pane on the right or if you don't want a reading pane at all, you would go to view. View will move your reading pane either on the bottom, it'll turn it off until you double click, or you can keep it on the right. Completely up to you, whatever you want to do. Okay, so that's how you can control your viewing. You go to view, make sure you're in the mail tab, and you go to view and you can change your reading panes. Okay, so if you um, don't like to be stuck in this, you know, mail thing and it's like too many things for you, you can hit this double monitor picture, it's actually a double window, and click on this and you can have your email pop out at you. So if this is really convenient for you, fine. Okay, so maybe you want your email to pop out at you. Once you're here, again, you can do all normal things. You can delete it, you can reply, you could forward. All right, so just how any other email would work. If you don't want it to pop out, you can still do a reply, reply all, or forward here. Okay, so you can do it here, or you can do it with the pop-out window, whichever. All right, once you're in your mail, um, you should be okay with making, creating emails. You know, you hit new to create a new email. You can create a new message. You can add people. You can make a new appointment, blah, blah, blah. But let's stick to mail for now. So if you want to make a new message, you would have your to and you would put in who it's for. Um, eventually, you'll be able to hit this to and it'll show all your addresses. Right now, I'm very limited on my addresses to show you. But once all the contacts are imported, you'll have all the staff there so you can email. Okay, and then you would just hit send when you want to send off your email. When you're typing your email, if you notice, you have your um, font things. You can make things bold. You can make them different sizes. So kind of similar to what you've been used to. Um, bold, let's say I want to make a different color. You can do that. Okay, so all that is right here. This is how you change and design your email. All right. Uh, another thing in email, maybe a good habit to pick up is folders. Okay, we get emails, and I don't know about you, but you'll have like 100 emails, and it's all something you need to take care of or respond to, and they're kind of disorganized. What you can do here is you can create folders. So if you notice, there's a folder here with a little green plus. If you click that, you can make folders. So one thing that I found was helpful for me is I always made a folder called Parent Communication, and I want it to be in my inbox. Because what I would do is, let's say this email was a parent, and it was something I wanted to take care of, or something I just wanted to document or have a receipt of, I can just drag and move emails. Okay, so you can make folders for your different desires. If you want to make a folder for parents, if you want to make a folder for confirmations of accounts, you know, because when you log into different websites, you get 8,000 accounts, you might want to put your confirmation emails just to remind you. All right, another thing I want to show you is briefcase. Briefcase, I really like this feature. Um, this is kind of like your own personal sharing or Google Docs with somebody in the system. So for now, I have this demo one that I did with Mark. And I made a folder, and Mark and I are the only two that can access this folder. We share things in it. I can send things back and forth. Instead of having to email an attachment, I can just drop something in his briefcase or the one that we share. So this is a really cool way to send files or share files, maybe with the department. Maybe you have common assessments, something like that. This is a really good way to do it. Okay, so um, if you want to make new briefcases, you can do that. You can do um, go here to briefcase and you can add a folder in your briefcases just like we did with the, with the mail folder. You can add a briefcase folder. So if I made new case here, it would be in my briefcases and then I would have it here. A new case. Well, this one's within this mark one. So I should make one that's in. Let's put new and it's going to be in briefcase. Okay. There we go. So there it is, new. By the way, I don't want this one, so I'm going to click on it. I'm going to right-click. I'm just going to delete it. 
I messed up, so I'm just going to delete it. Pretty easy. So if you make, make a mistake, there's always delete. All right, so that's briefcase. The other thing I want to show you that I think is fun is preferences. Now, um, with preferences, this might take a little getting used to. <clears throat> if you notice, I'm in preference right now for general preferences. And the way I know that is because I have preferences and general is highlighted here. But if I wanted to do male preferences, I could click mail, make sure preferences are clicked, and these are just male ones. If I want address book preferences, make sure that address book and preferences are highlighted there. They're clicked. Okay, so whenever you want to do preferences, you have subcategories of things that you can set preferences for. So I'm going to go back up to mail here, and I mean general. And one thing I want to know or I want to change is the background. In order to make this video, I had made this. This is called tree. It's kind of kind of cool, kind of green, but you know I'm a purple chick, so I'm going to go to lavender. I changed my theme to lavender, and I'm going to hit save. And it's going to ask me if I'm going to want to change the background. Yes. And now look, ah, purple. Yay. So now I have purple mailbox. Everything's purple. My calendar, everything's purple. And you can color code yourself. Like if you have multiple briefcases with people, if you notice when I was making a new briefcase, I had the option of picking colors. So if I know that the math department is green, I can make a green folder. Um, briefcase, okay, and now I have a math one. So if you're one of those people that likes to be highly organized by color, like different color sticky notes, you can organize all your folders by color as well. Okay, also works in calendar. Right now my calendar is purple. And here on the left here, I have shared calendars with people. You can make shared calendars for the computer lab, for maybe different subcommittees or committee meetings that you have, or maybe your own personal one. You can control the color that you are in someone's calendar. So for me, I'm purple. Whenever someone sees it's something that's me, it's purple. So it's kind of cool that you can kind of change things around and kind of add your own flair to this email. All right, that's a lot of the basics for now. Um, I hope this helps out and that you get used to Zimbra. Thanks, guys.